You know, we're not... We're not making very good progress towards rescuing the, the farmer, are we? <laughs> this game is just like the definition of squirrel. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to go after the farmer. Um, I have an announcement to make. <laughs> the announcement is that I have finally, um, after getting the blessing uh, from my wife, uh, because that's important to to make sure you do that when you're going to make a big purchase, and that's how I've remained married for 36 years, something like that. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to upgrade my computer, um, and I've already purchased the parts. I'm not going to upgrade the entire thing. I'm, I'm going to reuse my case and my power supply and some other things, my peripherals. But um, I've I've decided to spend some money and and get some better hardware because my system's you know kind of old. And uh, the reason I'm telling you that is because I actually just re recorded about 25 minutes of footage, and I lost it all because OBS crashed. Um, and the thing is, is I do have OBS up on a second monitor that's kind of off to the left, excuse me, of my gaming monitor, but it just, I don't notice it when that happens a lot of times. And so, you know, I end up going 15, 20, 30 minutes or however long it is, do all this stuff and then realize I missed all of it. And it's very, very frustrating. So, you know, th this isn't the first time this has happened recently. And so I've decided then I'm going to spend some money and upgrade my system. And I'm going to, um, you know, if you're curious, because a lot of people like to know, you know, what a lot of us YouTubers use, um, I'm I'm going to go big. So I, I'm basically going to spend the money and I'm going to get an i9-14900 uh, um, processor, which is basically the top of the line i9 processor on the market at the moment, um, you know, unless you go like crazy, crazy extreme. And let's see, I got a, I ordered a, uh, a 4070 Ti Super, which is a new card that just came out. This is just a tiny bit below the 4080, but also about $400 cheaper. And uh, I ordered an Asus, uh, no, sorry, a Gigabyte Aorus Elite X um, motherboard and some G-Skill RAM and an, a new 2-terabyte uh, uh, Samsung 960 M2. And an Arctic Master um, uh, liquid cooler thing for the processor, that sort of thing. And so, you know, uh, once that stuff all comes, it'll come over the next few days because I ordered it all online uh, and rebuild my computer. Uh, things should, should go a lot better, both in terms of me playing games and recording and hopefully not having these crashes. But it's also going to help me. Yeah, that hardware is going to help me edit and especially render uh, much quicker than I currently can because it takes me all night to render these videos and sometimes even longer than that it's just a pain in the ass so anyway all that to say um i recorded about 20 to 25 minutes of footage and lost it all so let me just kind of recap to you what we did um there was a quest over at this obelisk for me to get some boots so we went over there first i got the boots they're called the wanderer's boots and they're eh, they're okay too physical too magic the boots that I'm currently wearing right now are eight physical and eight magic. They're part of the scout set. Uh, this has plus two stam regeneration. The boots that I'm wearing has plus one stam generation, but um, I didn't want to give up that much resistance. And unfortunately, it doesn't appear that you can um, melt boots down for runes. So we're just going to hang on to those, I guess, and probably never wear them. Um, I also went into, uh, let's see, if we go back over this way. Uh, right here, there's uh, just, you know, one of those random tombs. I went down there and got a couple of things that I ended up melting down for runes. And then we went over to, uh, let's see, the boots were at, yeah, the boots were at this obelisk. Then I went, uh, teleported back to here where I've got a flame altar, and I did this elixir well. And this elixir well does not have a boss. It's just got a bunch of enemies. You go down, you kill them, you, you kill the root, you get uh, skill points. And there was a chest down there though, that gave me a really nice epic bronze sword, uh, which I'm going to actually hang on to just as a backup to our whaling blade. Um, you know, so we have that as a backup. So, so very nice sword. Um, these, this is just kind of the random loot that I got from all that stuff, including a total of 118 runes. 
And that's pretty much it. Um, so obviously we're back at the base and our plan for uh, today's episode is to go after the farmer. Um, and yeah, so let me get uh, a couple things put away and then I'll meet you guys at the spire and then we'll hang glide to the north to head over to the farmer. Actually, guys, you know what? I changed my mind about something. I'm, I'm hanging on to this tainted axe as my backup weapon because it's already upgraded. And I also use it kind of as a, you know, a, a tool to break things. So there's really just no point in me hanging on to this because even if I did fully upgrade it, it's still not going to be as good as the whaling blade. So let's just go ahead and melt this down and get ourselves 36 runes out of the deal. And we have a total now of 374 runes, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so I just want to show you guys that. And I think uh, I think we're just about ready to go. I want to I have a couple extra pieces of wolf meat. I might as well cook that up now. And then we'll make sure we have a full rested bonus. And then we'll head on over to the spire. It looks like I need to heal up a little bit too. Oh, I started using these dried purple berries uh, because they uh, they only heal one tick uh, or one health per tick, but they last for like five minutes, whereas the non-dried berries do two ticks per second, but they only last 30 seconds. So I've got a bunch of berries in here, um, you know, uh, make turning those into dried berries, and it takes a very long time to do that too, by the way. Um, what else? There was a couple other things I I updated you guys on on that footage that I lost. I've, I've made some um, some of this wood acid in here, uh, which we'll need for alchemy. I've got some bone meal that is, we've made up in there that we'll use for alchemy. And I think that's pretty much it. I did switch to uh, scrap arrows now um, just because, you know, they, they do quite a bit more damage and I feel like I have enough scrap that I can you know, afford to, to do that now. Um, it looks like, yeah, our health is slowly ticking up. Okay, so we have full, excuse me, full rested. Um, let's go ahead and take, we got the berries. Let's take this and the tomatoes and that gets all our buffs going. Oh, the other thing I did is after I finished the Electra Well, I took two two more points. Um, I put those points into counter battery, 15% damage to ranged enemies, and sharpshooter, 20% damage to everybody. So we're already quite a bit more powerful now uh, with the bow. And of course, we're working towards multi-shot and ranger, and we'll probably take all damage dealt to an enemy's head. Yeah, we'll probably take all of this stuff eventually. All right, I think we're ready to roll. So let's head on over to the Ancient Spire. Okay, so the farmer is our uh, active quest, and it's going to be way over there. I wonder if we could, while, while we're en route to the farmer, I wonder if we can make it to that next spire too. I bet you we can. So, yeah, let's just head, I guess we'll head that direction, because that's pretty much where we need to go. Let's do it. Let's head on over towards... The farmer. I have not, obviously, myself done this, and and nor have I watched uh, anybody on YouTube do it, so I have no idea what to expect or what's going to happen here. So it'll be a fun new adventure for us all. And yeah, it'd be cool if we could get to that spire too. Oh, there's a flame well thingamadoodle down there. Okay, let's get our our stem all the way back up. In fact, we can. Um, let's, let's take this. Okay. Get ourselves another spark. It's a beautiful thing. And what's that? Bone meal? Okay. We've got a camp of Ferndale with enemies these look like the kind of enemies that will drop um uh metal scraps for us so let's take them on Ooh, level seven i think 
That hurt. Damn. Um, okay. Let's top off with this. These are the highest level enemies I've encountered so far. Where's that coming from? Oh, there's a dude up there. Look at the damage we're doing to level 7s, man. Okay, I gotta time this a little bit better. There we go. So back up. He got us, but we got him. Okay, so there's this guy over here. Still trying to get used to how all this all this works. Getting better though. concerned about the triple crossbow guys than I am the melee. The melee guys are a lot easier to avoid. So there's another one. Okay, well, they're on us now. scraps there's still another ranged guy over here somewhere I think that's a uh, melee hoga woga yeah there's the for him to fire again if he's going to. He did. All right, did we get all the baddies? Give us all those metal scraps, baby. There's a couple things we'll read there, but I want to... I'm not 100% sure we've cleared everybody, so let's make sure. Yeah, see, there's a dude up there. All right, we clear over here. I think so. Not really seeing anything in here. Oh, look at that. Is there a dude down here? Oh, there is. Okay. Man, these guys drop a hell of a lot of those elixir thingies. Um, I mean, we could take this any time, right? We don't have to be in the shroud, right? Let's get great power of the god. Increase your damage by 30%. Reduces your max time in the shroud. So, yeah. I mean, why not? We're not in the shroud, so let's take it. Cool. Oh, yeah. We'll repair our stuff, too. It's a beautiful thing. 
Anything up here? Yeah, we got a chest and a dude. Metal scraps, baby. Love it. Oh, what's up, yo? Oh, <laughs> I ran out of stamina. Here, let's deal with this guy over here. Yo. You gonna come out? Or are you stuck in there? Seems like he's stuck in there. Look at that. Lock picks. Scrap metal. What more could a an archer ask for? More lock picks. Man, this is a place to come for lock picks. I love having this lighted sword. So when we go in these dark places, it's just already lit up. You know, since we have... How are we doing on our inventory? It's not terrible. Maybe we should just sleep here for the night. Since we have a place to repair... Lots of scrap metal, man. More lockpicks. This should be called Lockpickville. All right, what's this got to say? I could tell they were advancing from the smoke that was on the horizon. Many fled, but I stayed. They are snarling outside the door. I will hold this house as my ancestors would have done. I hid our treasure under the stone stairs. It will be safe and sound far away from their clutches. When they come, I will be prepared. Treasure stone stairs. All right. How about if we, um, let's go back down here and where did I f see that bed at? Saw a bed somewhere. Here we go. Let's sleep. All right, we didn't get our full rested bonus, but it's okay. Let's go down here. We're looking for a treasure under some stone stairs. You know what? I'll bet you this is what we're looking for. Ha ha! What do we get? Another misfortune mace. All right, that is going to be turned into a whole shit ton of runes. I love it. Love it, I love it. Anything else in here? Uh, nothing in the way of chests, anyways. That's just wood. Okay, I think we've probably worn our welcome out here, except for we have a couple things to read. 
<clears throat> Protection against the shroud. The following precautions against the shroud must be taken at all times. Don't venture into valleys or near river basins. The shroud can overtake you quickly. Avoid contact. Do not breathe it and be sure to shield your eyes. After contact, but excuse me, medicate immediately with approved remedies and quarantine. It sounds like COVID. Uh, please only take prescribed medication. Stay away. Stay clear of the elixir. Its long-term effects are unknown. That's for Balthazar. Ointments. We are very wary and for lack of rest, but I assure you I will have more tinctures and remedies ready soon. Please be patient. You can pick them up at the tower. I notice some of you are turning towards unsavory means for protection. I beg of you to refrain from such extreme measures. The black market solutions are highly volatile and dangerous, and I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. You can't know what consumption of such elixirs may cause. Interesting. Okay. A little bit of backstory there. Uh, is there something inside of this well? Wait. It just said something. Uh, what? Uh, oh, start gliding. Okay. All right. Let's get moving here. Time's a wasting. Got a bunch of wolves over there. Let's see if we can range some of those guys because they're probably... Um, speaking of which, too, let's, um, let's take some tomatoes and some wolf thingamadoodles and some dried berries. Okay. Heal up with that. Actually, I probably could have just left the berry in place, but... Um, okay, hold on. Before we go in there, let's look at the map. There's, uh, there's another elixir well. Should we try and clear it? Yeah, it's right here. Might as well, it's right here, eh? Oh shit, that guy's a level 9. Dang. Yeah, we are... What, what level are we? Oh. Uh, we are... We're level 6, so we are... Definitely in a dangerous area for our level. But, let's just see what happens here. Just gonna stand there and let me take him out. I'll oblige. Okay. Let's go up here. This will refresh our our thingy. In fact, you know what? There is there's actually no shroud right here at this spot, which means we could fast travel from here. I wonder if All right, let me think about something here. Um What if we should go home and get rested buff because we're in level 9 territory. That's pretty damn scary for since we're only level 6. Well, what the hell? Let's just try it. I hope, hopefully I don't regret this. How do we get down there? It's a ladder. Alright, is this a boss shroud area or a... 
just nasty guys throughout area. I'm not seeing a lot of bad guys down here, which could mean it's a boss area. Just get rid of all these so we don't accidentally stumble into them later. Just gotta wait for that crap to disappear. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so there's a thingy there. And there's the root. Um... Okay, let's just remember that's there. Oh, shit, that scared me. No, 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 no. Oh, this hurts. Whew, that was close. We really shouldn't be down here without rested buff. <laughs> we really shouldn't. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, let's just press on here. I hear some bad guy down there. I just don't see where he is. Oh! Damn. Okay, he's dead. Let's make sure we stay at full health here. So we are really kind of almost in over our head. Hey, look at that. Nice. Um, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? Once we kill the root, the shroud will go away. Oh, I see what's going on there. Let's go ahead and take this elixir thing now. The other thing I should have done, damn it, is I should have taken the... the shroud flask, which would have given us an extra two minutes. And I don't know if I want to glide down there just in case... Uh, nope, go down. You know, just in case we glide a little too far. I'm a little concerned about the... The bugs, you know? Because when you get that many of them all at once, it's impossible not to take some damage. And it, Boy, do they do some damage. Oh, nice. We got the heal thingy. There's the root. Oh, there is a, a fell brute guy. Okay. So, here, let's take care of this guy first. I want to get some of that shit out of the way so we don't run into it later. Uh, what, what do we need to replenish? Well, here, let's just replenish... Um, that. Whoops. That. That. And that. Okay, we already got the elixir buff going on. This isn't going to do us any good right now. So I think we're as buffed as we can be. I want to get all the little guys out of the way before we take on Felbrute. Oh, I guess we're taking them on. Oh, shit!
Okay, good. We got him out of the way. All right. just mostly try and avoid him and we'll range him down oh we need stamina oh no 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 I wasn't paying attention son of a bitch I was trying to take a honeycomb and I <laughs> god damn it jumped right in the muck there all right well, um, let's go back and get our stuff. Oh, you know what I'm going to actually do now that we can? How do I get out of here? Over here, maybe? Yeah. I'm going to take um one of the... the um, shroud elixir things because it'll give us an extra two minutes this would be a lot easier you know for me obviously if I was rested um, it's just that We're still elixir craze, but we don't have the benefit of it. All right, well, screw that. Okay, so now we got the extra thingy. This will give us two additional minutes. All right, and now let's take uh, this, that, and that. Okay, let's try this again. Stay away from that shit. Hopefully it's just fell brute and not, I mean we would have killed him no problem if I hadn't decided to take a swim in the lava. We were doing fine. stamina back here. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, let's try this again. Stupid bugs. Stamina. Uh, 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 stamina. Okay. I can't get any stamina back and I can't take any honeycomb because I'm... Okay. Get in front of him. Stop for a second. Get a little bit of stamina. Okay. He doesn't seem to do the ranged attack that the other guy did. Unless I'm just not far enough away from him or something. He keeps trying to kick me. Oh, there he goes. He did. Whew. Okay. Damn. Um, what does that do? Two salmon and one. Yeah, we kind of need that. Uh, what are we wearing for rings? One stamina and stamina generation. Yeah, we'll switch those because they're the same thing. In the, it's just that this one's better. 
Okay, so, yeah, um, we did that almost that entire fight with no stamina, which kind of sucked. We got it done, but still, you know. Um, which, if we would have been fully rested, it would not have been nowhere near a big deal. So, moral to the story, don't come down and do these damn things when they're three levels higher than you with, without the rested bonus. That's the moral to the story. Okay. Uh, is there anything down here? Oh, shite. That's cool to loot. What's that? Mycelium. That's new. I haven't seen that yet. All right. Um, let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. Um, we can't melt those down. I don't know why. Uh, we can melt that down. Uh, we don't need that. I've got a bunch back at the base. And... Uh, we don't need that either. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing mycelium is something we need for. What the hell is that? Alchemy, maybe. Yeah, crap. Got him. You know, we're not... We're not making very good progress towards rescuing the, the farmer, are we? <laughs> this game is just like the definition of squirrel. That shroud liquid I'll probably end up tossing just because it's super easy to get. I don't know what the mycelium business is about, though. I don't see anything up there. Come on. Get off there. We'll pick it up for now, but if I have to dump something, that'll be one of the first things to go. Oh! We got an archer enemy here. Oh my god, I'm out of arrows. We have done a, a lot of arrowing though. We could do this. Why isn't that hitting? Seriously? What the hell, man? Alright, let's take one of those. There's another guy over there. Uh, oh, we just got six scrap arrows, okay. Is he an archer? Come at me, bro. Damn it, Jim. Okay. 
look at this. What do we get? More runes. Oh, no, don't do that. Whoops. <laughs> I guess that just gives you shroud nastiness and not actual explosive nastiness. All right. Will you guys just quit coming? It's hacks, man. Okay, let's go up this way. Oh, I forgot. We got a point. Uh, are we safe for the sec? For the moment? No shroud? Okay. Uh, we have five points. Nice. Okay, let's do all damage dealt to enemies' head is increased by 20%. Damage against flying enemies increased by 30%. Okay, let's go... Let's do this one next. And we still have two points, but that takes five points. That's going to really give us some beefy stuff once we get it. I don't want to fall down that way. Come on, bugaboos. are just relentless man stop it leave me alone all right i think that takes care of this elixir well oh there's a thingy down there no need to take it now All right, guys. Well, um, we're going to have to wrap up this episode. It was just, um, this went way, way too long. It was a good episode, though. It was fun, and uh, that was quite the challenge, man, taking all that stuff on with, you know, three levels higher than us, A, and B, no rested bonus. I don't advise that, by the way, <laughs> but we did it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a flame altar uh, somewhere really close by the the farmer. And then um, we'll just jump right into the next episode and um, and go rescue the farmer. Uh, but we got to wrap things up here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya.